Most of you have probably heard of leaky gut, but have you heard of leaky mitochondria, leaky joints, and a leaky brain? It turns out what happens to the mitochondria as they become damaged and don't work as well, start leaking out electrons which act as free radicals. They start damaging mitochondrial DNA and nuclear DNA. This is called oxidative stress. And this, of course, is one of the biggest drivers of aging. Now, what also happens not only in the mitochondria, but also happens in the gut, is that the gut becomes leaky, and many people have heard about this. A leaky gut is when the intestinal lining or the permeability of what's supposed to stay in the gut doesn't quite stay there. Now that you understand with aging and chronic diseases, we become leaky, so to speak, what can you do? The first step is understanding and measuring cell membrane health. Cell membranes are basically the security system to decide what gets in and what gets out of the cell. And there's a great test that's called red blood cell lipid fatty acid analysis to really gauge if your cell membranes are healthy. Leaky gut is when the gut lining doesn't do its job and undigested food and bacteria can leak into the bloodstream. Now, this can also happen in the brain. You have something called a blood-brain barrier, which is supposed to protect certain things from getting into the brain, but that can also become leaky, allowing immune cells and other pathogens to get into the brain. And over time, this can cause chronic inflammation. And we know neuroinflammation is related to many mental health and neurodegenerative disorders. Similarly, what happens in osteoarthritis, it's not just a wear and tear condition. We know it's much more complicated. What's happening is the joints are becoming leaky at a cellular level, which means that the immune cells can go into the joint and actually cause chronic inflammation and damage and leads to all these degenerative hallmarks of aging that we're familiar with. 